Hey folks, Steve here with a special unboxing video for you today. We're going to be looking at The Great Battles Julius Caesar Deluxe Edition, something that GMT has just published. Uh, this is designed by Mark Herman and the late Richard Berg and is an entry, I'm not sure what they want to refer to this as, it's an entry in the Great Battles of History series, but it is essentially a reprint collection of a couple of old games from the series. And so before I open this guy up, I just want to make sure folks understand what this product is and what it is not, because it, there's a little bit of, um, I, I guess there's a little bit of nuance here. So this is certainly Great Battles Julius Caesar Deluxe Edition. It is a package of battles from a couple different entries of the Great Battles of History series, plus some expansion content, um, but not all of the expansion content, okay? So I'm going to make sure that you guys can, can understand the significance of, of what all this does, but um, so this is just, just released now. I want to set it aside for a second and explain the root of what is in this package. So way back in the 90s, uh, this game was released. This is It was just titled Caesar, the Great Battles of Julius Caesar, the Civil Wars. And this included, uh, to start with, four significant battles. Dorachium Lesnikia, Pharsalus, Ruspina. I'm sorry, five battles. I'm dumb. Uh, Thapsus and Munda. All, all you know, well-known battles from the Civil War uh, that Caesar uh, fought against Pompey and the Senate. You can see all this. This is an older game, right? And I had picked up this copy. Now, this game had expansions. There was Veni Vidi Vici, uh, Dictator, uh, Jugurtha, and then, of course, that got the rest of the stuff. You can see how kind of old this is, right? From the 90s, uh, black and white rule books, all of that kind of stuff. And there, there was a lot to uh, this package, right? Like, if you wanted to own everything you had to go and you had to get uh, the game and its expansions. There's also Caesar Conquest of Gaul. And let's adjust this a little better. Um, the Bracti, the Rhine, Savis Bay of Biscay, Britannia, Lutetia. Uh, might have garbled some of the pronunciations. This similarly, Entry in the Great Battles of History series, and it too had its own expansions. So it had <clears throat> Gergovia, uh, it had uh, Caraticus, and it had the Battles of the Warrior Queen, uh, so Boudicca. And this is actually one of the more recent expansions. This only came out, um, gosh, I'm not sure the exact date. Uh, I'm trying to find it. 2017. Um, and so, you know, again, much older of a game, the, the original game, and then all, all of these expansions and everything else. Um, you know, this game being published, uh, at least this one, I think this is the second printing. So this was 2006, but this was the, like, the one additional printing beyond the original that was published for this. So, in, in just kind of hitting those things, I want to be clear that this package combines those two main games, right? It's a big box, my gosh, right? So I want to want to kind of show this. I'm going to zoom in for a second so you guys can see. So includes 20 battles. Now let's just even take a look at the, the full list here. So uh, of Marius and Sulla, these are, this is a battle from Jugurtha, two battles from Dictator, uh, all the battles from Conquest of Gaul, one from uh, Gergovia, in terms of the Civil Wars, you have all the Civil War battles. Two from Benevitevici, or Benevitevici, depending on how you want to look at that. Um, and then two battles from Caraticus. So, so I want to be super clear here, guys, so you know, in case you're a collector type. This deluxe edition does not have everything from those expansions. It is the two base games, Conquest of Gaul and the Civil War, you know, Caesar of the Civil Wars, and select battles from those expansions, but not all of them. So you're not getting uh, 
just just to make a comparison here, I should I should have probably have done this. So here's Jugurtha, right? You have you know a couple battles there listed, right? Uh, Sirda and the um, Luthal River. Well, out of Jugurtha, you're just getting Sirda, so you're missing a battle. Okay, and and the reason why I wanted to just call this out is if you are a previous owner like like me and you're wondering by owning this can i just toss all my old stuff away i would caution you against it if you care about the missing battles so so again it's not every single battle from both games and their expansions it is a select number this this box could could have been even bigger and maybe not publishable if it tried to include everything so I totally understand GMT's approach, in, in including the two main games, and then probably the best battles from those expansions. Um, if, if you're kind of disappointed and you say, well, I want to get the rest of those, you would have to go hunting for these out-of-print expansions. They are expensive. I, I would not recommend that unless you're truly, truly diehard. Um, but this is going to be an update that will get you most of it. The other thing I should point out is that this game does not include any of the battles. Uh, just I'm pulling it up again just to, to show it. None of the battles here are from the Boudicca expansion. So if you're interested in that expansion that was for Conquest of Gaul and was released back in 2017, I think it might still even be available from GNT today, uh, none of that content is in this game. So you could get this and then go get the, the Boudicca expansion, and that would be entirely new content for you that, that I believe requires Conquest of Gaul, which is included in this package. So a little bit of dependencies there. Um, and again, a few battles that may be missed, maybe somewhere on the Board Game Geek page in a forum or something, somebody can list out all the battles that are getting left behind. But again... That might not be super important to you, um, and and you just kind of you know, I, I don't know how else to say. Just you know, you, you, there's going to be some stuff missing. I, I'm sort of glad that um, I have all of my older stuff, so that if I really wanted to play those battles, I could bring those counters over and I could play it out. You know, with some of the newer counters. Um, so just something to think about, guys. You know, if you if you've already got everything. There's still a reason to get this, right? If, you, if you've if you been an owner of all the games in the old expansions, there's still a reason to get this, which we'll look at as I actually do the unboxing for this. But I just want to make that clear that there is, uh, you know, there's there's a reason to keep your old stuff and there's a reason to get the new thing, I guess, right? Um, one other caveat that I will slide this box over for. It is entirely possible if they wanted to, if GMT really wanted to be cool cool guys um they could do a second volume so the great battles of julius caesar deluxe edition volume two and what that would include or what i think it it could should include are the missing battles and counters from these other expansions as well as two other games in the great battles of history series that feature uh julius caesar that would be caesar and alexandria which is a basically a single battle game that focuses on uh, Caesar being in Alexandria, um, which combines some war galley rules uh, and uh, like urban combat, which is kind of interesting. Um, this is kind of I think this has been out of print for a while. It was published back in two thousand one, at least this version was. Um, so th this is another Caesar battle. Don't game and then. Uh, the Siege of Elysia, which is, you, you would have noticed, not part of Conquest of Gaul, is its own game, is actually quite a big game um, because you're, you're fighting this huge siege with the circumvallation thing, the whole, the whole nine yards there. Um, I feel like they could, because these games, while both independent and fairly large on their own, could fit together, could fit in a extra large box, um, and then if they included the counter sheets and maps and whatnot for the missing expansion stuff, then you would basically have everything uh, related to Julius Caesar that you could want. Um, and, 
you know, basically have the full, com the, the full package with nothing left behind. No man left behind. But until then, so there, there's my, there's my, uh, my call uh, to GMT. Good job on this. Hopefully it sells well, and then they could do a volume two, get the rest of the missing battles, and Alicia and Alexandria, and then boom, we've got everything anybody could ever want. Anyway, 10 minutes into the unboxing video, let's get this guy open so you guys can see why you might want to pick this up. And for a lot of people who can't hunt down out-of-print games from the 90s, this will be their first opportunity to get to these battles in the Great Battles of History um, series, which is cool. Uh, the other thing will be, I'm fairly certain that this will include some of the stuff so that you can play the simple Great Battles of History version. So we've got uh, Counter Sheet 8, which is a half sheet. You can see there's fatigue markers, various administrative counters. Nothing too crazy there. This is brown core, by the way, so this will be uh, pretty, pretty nice quality counters throughout, I suspect. Um, and here you start seeing, so it's sheet one. And just looking around, I don't see a specific call out that would say, hey, this is for a particular battle, but it is by legions. You can see the different legions. Um, six, you know, Sixth Legion, uh, the famous Tenth Legion, and others. Um, counter Sheet 2. And you can see that you got some of the uh, ships from the Conquest of Gaul scenarios that include... Uh, some of the naval rules that are involved here. Um, so various various counters. I'm not going to be able to go through like each and every counter sheet. You guys can see that they're brown core. They're going to be high quality. They are going to be smaller counters. These are not big counters. All right, lots of units here. Um, and across all of these battles, this is this should be no surprise. If you had the SPQR or the uh, Great Battles of Alexander Deluxe uh, printings, yeah, uh, you'll know that you know there's a lot here, a lot of army counters. You're going to want to get organized. Um, a lot here to to look at, and of course all the administrative cohesion hit counters, and all that good stuff. So a lot, a lot of counters. Um, and and what is nice is that given that they're set up in the legion model, um, the different Roman legions are applicable to different battles. So. Um, you know, it's like you you they you kind of get around the fact that you would maybe have different sets of counters for different battles. Like a lot of these same army units appear in the same battles, um, and you have the eighty page, nearly eighty page scenario book, which is one of the largest scenario books that I've seen from GMT. Um, and uh, so, you know, Rise of the Roman Warlords. That's going to be Marius and Sulla, uh, the Gallic Wars which then lead to the Civil Wars, the Roman Reconquest of Britannia. Um, so here, so here's the important thing about this, right? Those games from the 90s had the old, you know, crappy rule books. Great reason to get this is that everything has been freshened up errata-wise. Um, you've got this, you know, beautiful color, uh, you know, playbook with the maps. So all a heavy upgrade in terms of quality there. Um, opportunities for a little bit of re revision of some of these things. Um, oh, Battles of the Warrior Queen update. So there are a few things here that will add to your Battles of the Warrior Queen if you have that. Um, oh, okay. So there are some changes that are required for compatibility's sake. So, okay, something to watch out for. Some stuff for your simple Great Battles of History updates. Uh... All sorts of goodness in here. Developer notes, which are probably going to be worth a read because I think this is going to be talking about the process to get this game up to snuff and, and fixed up. Um, these are pretty large battles, by the way. Like, these are big map games. Like, I know some great battles of history maps can be smaller. These are all going to be pretty fairly large. Uh, the new updated rulebook, which comes in at a whopping 45 pages. Um... Uh, and as a reminder, for those who like uh, the Great Battles of History, but you never played this, you got to keep in mind each uh, Great Battles of History game needs its own rulebook because there are various things that are going to be specific to the game that you're playing that you'll need to read. So, like, 
you know, they're going to talk about the Legion, uh, pro, you know, mechanics and all of this in here. But again, a color rule book updated the two, you know, beautiful two column format you're used to from GMT. Uh, much better for examples than the old rule books from the 90s. I mean, you know, this is kind of like this is part of the reason I would say if you certainly if you have um, and a little uh, in memoriam from Richard Passing. Uh, so, so this is one of those things like, Hey, if you're, if you're going to, if you've got the old stuff, you know, this, this is part of the reason to get the new stuff, the, the naval rules that are for a few of the battles that are in here. And then you've got the tons of maps. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, fold all these out. Uh, that would be killer on time. Um, but another upgrade are going to be the player aid sheets. So a huge improvement over the old ones. Um, I could go grab an old one for comparison, but I'm going to spare you that. Um, so there's a whole lot here, movement cost stuff. If you're used to great battles of history, none of this is going to be particularly, uh, surprising. So your shock superiority, shock combat results, you know, this is all straightforward stuff. Your missile, uh, results table, fortification effects, um, but, you know, all cleaned up, all very nice looking here. Uh, there's a second player aid sheet, which gets into uh, your shock checks for troop quality. Um, a command summary chart describing how things are activated. And this is what I was getting at where, you know, there's a whole set of rules about overall commander section, tribune, legate, prefect that you might not get and say like, I'm trying to remember how Great Battles uh, of Alexander handles it. It's a little bit different, obviously, and Hop Hoplite does it different. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, stacking charts, all goodness. All goodness here, you get two of each. Player aid card three. Leadership, this is just a single single sheet, and then you got your sequence of play all the way through. Um, I'm really, I'm really glad for this because the, the, you know, those games, especially the Civil War game that's been around since like the '90s, where you're just, you're gonna have a hard time picking up some of this stuff. Naval charts, again, all useful. Um, plenty of, uh, you got your dice, a D10 and some D6s, baggies, your insert, which this might not last very long depending on how I'm gonna try to organize this stuff. Um, but just very cool, very cool that. Finally, other folks that have not yet had an opportunity um, to play these specific battles, at least physically. You know, folks maybe have been playing it on Vassal for years because they couldn't get a copy of the game. But now we've got everything, and it's spruced up. It looks great. Uh, the counters are improved, which will be, you know, a big deal for, for some folks who are you know, hardcore about that sort of thing. I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy it's here. It just sits... It's going to be, I think, a tight fit getting everything into the box when everything's punched. But uh, there you go. So um, great battles of Julius Caesar Deluxe Edition, guys. Just uh, excited, glad that this is here. I've kind of waited around for this just because um, it's, you know, going through the old stuff is kind of hard. And now I've got enough of a baseline here uh, to play Play it, play it with a, a spruced up rule book. That's just so key. The player aid sheet's new. Um, everything getting the once over for errata, freshening up all of this stuff. Um, and again, I fingers crossed that we get a volume two that gets Alicia, which is just one of my favorite battles in history, period. Um, the update for uh, Alexandria would be cool. The missing battles would be very cool. They'd also uh, probably, would probably be a good idea to include the... Uh, uh, Warrior Queen expansion, since that's missing here. But, I mean, if, again, if you've not had the chance to get into the Great Battles of History, here's an opportunity. There's other games, obviously, in the series that are really, really fun. Uh, I really like Great Battles of Alexander. Um, you know, SPQR is another one. This is a, a different time frame than those, right? So if you want to, you know, play through these historical things of Julius Caesar, uh, here's, here's your great opportunity. After all these years, finally a good package that can come and give you, um, you know, it's, I'm, I'm complaining about, you know, I'm, I guess I'm not complaining, but I'm calling out missing battles. You get 20 guys. This is a lot of game. This is a lot of game to play. Um, for sure. Absolutely. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll, we'll get some other videos here on the channel soon. I've, I've been taking a break, uh, cause I'm in the middle of grad school. So that's a whole thing guys. That's been taking up my time. That's why I've not been 
uh, doing more lately, but uh, we'll see more to come here. So take care, guys. Keep gaming.